Some people living in Westport say the view in their neighborhood is changing after real estate developers cleared all the trees from a recently sold property. News 12 Connecticut's Sean McCabe has more tonight. You couldn't see the property at all. I mean, it was all trees up to the driveway. Neighbors say since the recently sold lot on Pequot Trail was cleared of trees in April, someone has been finding a way to express their displeasure. Someone's been putting signs on the uh, taping signs onto the coastal sign about the trees. I don't know who. Amy Pines says she's looking forward to new neighbors, but the site has been a bit of an eyesore. I've just never experienced this where they just sort of rip something up and left it for months to sit there. People are moving to Westport for the trees, for the uh, environment. Monica Buser chairs the local tree board. She says legally the owners of the lot can do whatever they want with their trees. It's not something that the tree board can address directly because we handle public trees, but we are concerned about the clear cutting of trees. She says if residents want clear cutting to stop, they can contact their local selectmen and RTM about changing the rules. Because there are communities in Connecticut that have ordinances about private trees. Buser says apart from the environmental impact, the cleared trees did offer benefits to the neighborhood. Including noise abatement, they reduce the risk of flooding, which is does happen in this area. She says she hopes the developers plant new trees in place of the old ones. Oh, absolutely. And on your lot, plant a tree. And the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, so get on it. In Westport, Sean McCabe, News 12, Connecticut. Real estate developer Coastal Luxury Homes says whoever is taping up those signs is guilty of trespassing and vandalism. The owners of the property, though, couldn't be reached for comment.